uh, Iceman here. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start setting this bow up uh, with this new Tetra sight and uh, we're gonna start off at 20 yards and I had it close, I shot it a couple of times and got it close because I don't want to really have such a long video but uh, I got it close to the target so I had the uh, setup tape set at 20 and I'm standing at 20 yards so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, uh, I'm going to zoom the camera in on a target and then I'm going to shoot at 20 and let you guys see where the uh, arrow hit. Okay, this is a 20 yard shot. It should be close. I'm going to take one more shot. Shot number two at 20. Okay. It's on the mark. Okay, once again, I have my setup tape on 20. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to uh, 60 yards and shoot. And I calculated that I need to change my dial to 40. So now I'm going back to 60 yards, and uh, then I'm going to shoot again. And uh, then once we determine that the 40 is accurate, then what we're going to do, we're going to calculate which um, factory tape I need to put on my dial. The ice man, John Bailey. I'm up to 60 yards. I adjust my dial to 40. So let me go ahead and give that a try and uh, see exactly where it hit. Uh, once it hit that bullseye at 60, uh, like I said, I had my setup tape on 40. And once it hit that bullseye at 60, then I can calculate on which uh, tape I need to put on my dial. All right, let's go ahead and try so uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the target and let you guys uh, see the impact. All right. Okay, I'm going to take one more shot at 60 and uh, see where it hit. Yeah, it's getting closer. It's to the right bottom. Barely to the right. Uh, take one more. Let me go ahead and take a shot and see exactly where it hit. I don't shoot 60 yards every day, so I'm just going to take a minute to get used to this. Here we go. I don't know where it hit. Let me go check.
Okay. Okay. I'm going to take you to the target. Then I'm going to do a final review on the actual site itself. Oh boy. I'll be 52 in April. I'm telling you, constantly shooting is tiresome for me. So 60 yards, set up tape, set on 40. I don't need to walk all of it down there, so I'll let you see it from here. There you go. So sixty yards is set up on forty. All right. Uh, that concludes my setup. And now I'm going to, ready to uh, share with you on which uh, tape I'm going to use in conjunction with my, um, my setup tape on my uh, Tetra. Uh, what I did, I did not have my calculation paper with me. I must have left it at the shop. So, what I did, let me slide this bowl out the way. What I did... I took the actual um, the uh, the factory setup tape, and I took each I took each uh, each permanent tape that I'm gonna use. And let me explain to you what I'm doing with my bow. When I have this bow set on 20 with my setup tape on my dial when I have it at, uh, set on 20 I can shoot out to 40 yards with it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this setup tape it's the same uh, design as the setup tape on my bow or should I say on my sight what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the 20 mark on the setup tape and I'm going to line it up with the 40 mark on my permanent tape. So, on my setup tape where it says 20, where it says 20, I'm going to set it right beside 40. So, when I set the 20 mark on the setup tape beside 40 on the permanent tape, then I'm going then I'm going to go down to the 40 mark which is when I was shooting out to 40 when I was shooting out to 60 yards with my 40 mark it should line up with my 60 and that's exactly where it is so I don't know if you can see it or not let me get over here so my 40 my 20 mark which is here underneath my thumb lines up with the 40 mark here then we go down to 40 with my thumb there okay and it's lining up with 60 here right there and it's the tape number 36 Okay, see how simple that was? Like I said, I left my calculation home, so I, I thought about it. I said, you know what, just use common sense. So um, I made sure my setup tape that was already on the site when I got it from uh, Chris, my brother Chris, um, Chris Ham from HHA, my brother in Christ. Uh, this uh, setup tape is the same uh, uh, as the uh, one on the site so I could I use this as a reference so once I line this up to this then I knew which permanent tape I can use for my bow so by me having it on the 40 mark 
I can still go down to 20 and shoot back to 40 and shoot and then when I want to go to 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, it should be dead on because like I said, my ball is getting 321 feet per second. I'm shooting a 393.5 green arrow and it's just as simple as that. So um, I go ahead and got the 36, uh, the number 36 tape that I'm going to go ahead and put on my bow and uh, then we're going to go from there. All right. Okay, there you have it. Uh, finalized my setup. I'm using tape. Uh, 36 from the factory so now it's dialed in I still have my sight my pen or should I say my dial set at the 40 mark because I'm still shooting from 0 to 40 without adjusting my pen and then once I go to 45 up to 100 then I go ahead and turn my dial but um, the bow is ready the sight is ready I'm ready to go hunting but uh, also let me go ahead and do a review on this uh, HHA uh, um, Optima Tetra. Uh, like I said, this is uh, aircraft machine aluminum, and uh, it has brass, like a brass uh, roller guide, where you just go ahead and uh, loosen your nut here when you want to adjust your dial, and it's, I mean, it just, it just turns with very little effort. So, uh, also, uh, it has three axes on here. Uh, you got your windage, you got your elevation, and also you have your, uh, your, uh, your third axis here. This third, ac third axis here, uh, like I said, you loosen this screw here. When you loosen this screw, it has a spring inside of here. And when you loosen the screw, you'll notice that it'll turn. And, uh, then you have this little screw here. This is the adjustment screw where you actually turn your um, your sight to the left or to the right. I think that's pretty cool. And that's they say that's for guys out uh, out west in the mountains where it just certain elevations, uh, certain situations they can use that third axis. But I guess uh, a guy like me over in Georgia, uh, Maryland, um, and uh, flatlands, should I say? I don't even have to worry about this. But uh, also. I want to add it has three uh, mount ho mounting holes uh, for your uh, sight here so I have mine up at the very front reason being when I'm at full draw my peep sight and the center of my dial uh, I can actually see the housing the housing and my peep sight and I line them both up and they're real close from being center to center and that right there helps me get on my target a whole lot faster versus having it all the way in the back so if I have it all the way so I say if I have it all the way forward the sights gonna be further away from my peak and the actual dial on my sights gonna be smaller so I'm gonna be floating more but by being closer to my peak and being closer to th uh, 30 uh, 3 16 in this of uh, of the whole of my peep, I'm floating a whole lot less, and the peep is closer to my eye, and I, it's more manageable that way. So, um, um, taking consideration when you're putting a sight on, I mean, preferably you guys get an HHA. My personal opinion, they're the best on the market. Uh, like I said, I've been shooting them for years, and um, they've never let me down. I went all the way to Africa with my uh, HHA optimizer. Uh, light and I pulled it out of the bow case after the bow went 15 and a half hours on a flight I shot bullseye didn't even have to do no elevation no adjustments no nothing so that's real cool on how the adjustments go but like I said you got your front adjustment you got your front adjustment on here and you can actually see see these little lines here where you can adjust your uh, your, your windage that's your windage here uh, this is your elevation here we're just that's your elevation that's your windage and this is your third axis if you want to turn that uh, that uh, your sight a little bit but uh, always make sure like I said always make sure when you mount your sight on your bow just make sure that your peep sight is the same diameter as your dial um, your ring should I say your ring on your um, always make always make sure it's the same diamond as your ring uh, when you have full draw and that'll really 
increase your odds on hitting your target more accurately. Uh, but like I said, I got mine all the way in because I'm shooting a 3 16th uh, peep, and um, it's, it's, it's ready to go now. Um, like I said, I, I did my calculations um, just old school style. I just put my tape next to my 40 and my 20. Um, I was shooting at 20 yards and I went back to 60 and I had to adjust my dial to 40. And that's when I went on to put my, my setup tape next to my factory tape. And um, it, it came out to my number 36 uh, factory tape. So that was very simple for me. Uh, like I said, I left the actual calculation paper home. So uh, you have to use common sense. So anyway, um, I'm done with this here. Uh, uh, special thanks to my brother in Christ, uh, Chris Ham for HHA uh, Sports. Uh, Chris, you guys made an awesome, awesome, awesome site. Uh, I believe you was thinking about me when you made this site. Because like I said, it's, I like the way the wheel is in, in front versus um, being in back with the uh, optimizer. Um, uh, ultra, although the Ultra is an awesome bow. But uh, I like the way... Um, this site is uh, the dial is here so even if you leave the quiver on now you can still get to that dial with no problem and also you can you can hunt with it you can hunt with the uh, with this site with your dial kind of loose just in case if you have to actually uh, hurry up and adjust it and you can still shoot with no problem you won't even have no vibration in it um, so that's real cool about that but once you uh, get that thing set just snug it down real real slightly you don't even have to squeeze it you just snug it real slightly and it'll go ahead and uh, stay there but anyway uh, this is a sweet sweet sight um, the HHA optimizer uh, uh, Tetra and uh, you, you guys hit a home run uh, Chris uh, when y'all made this here uh, like I said I'm gonna continue to use HHA I've been using it for years and uh, I'm gonna continue to um, support you guys um, and uh, God bless you and anyway I hope this um, I hope this video helped somebody out there just in case if you want to get a, a Tetra and uh, put it on a bow. I guarantee you it's not hard to set up. It's very easy to set up. Um, and this uh, is rugged. And like I said, it's sleek looking. And also, uh, that single pin, you just can't beat it. All right, Iceman signing out. Uh, special thanks again to uh, Chris Ham, my brother in Christ, with uh, HHA um, Sports. And um, ask you guys to uh, subscribe to my Iceman Series uh, YouTube channel. Also go to uh, Iceman Series um, on Facebook and also visit me at www.theicemanseries.com and also visit my brother in Christ, Chris Ham at uh, www.hhasports.com. All right, God bless. Take care. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm encouraging you to get to know him in these last and evil days. Um, he's the only one that can sustain you. So uh, uh, God bless you. And if you wanted to be saved, I ask you to uh, read Romans 10 and 9 and, um, and get down on your knees and confess to Jesus Christ and he'll save you. All right? God bless you. Take care.